Welcome back, welcome back, any and all. Glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be doers of the word. Glory be to Ohio. I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. It is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. We can't even breathe on our own, believe it or not. And I sure hope you told your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Today, we are still in the book of Hosea. We're on chapter... 8. Israel rejects the Lord. I sure hope you all are saved, have given your life to Christ Jesus. You live in a life of, of um, holiness, meaning that you are reading God's word, preferably the King James Version of the Bible, going down on your knees in prayer, crying out to the Father. Not only are you hearing the word, but you are also receiving it and you're doing the word. You're not just supposed to be a hearer of the word, but a doer of the word as well, right? And, um, Cry out to the Father till you hear from him. Don't stop crying out till you hear from him. Okay? He knows your heart. He'll speak to you. He may take some time. That's okay. And uh, another thing, a daily life of repentance because we live in these fleshly bodies and the flesh always wars with the spirit. It's always warring with the spirit. And um, I love you all with the, love of the, with the love of the Lord. That's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. Uh, today, yeah, we're going to get into our reading. But before we begin into our reading, we're going to say a prayer for children of all ages. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father, for this day. Thank you, Father, for your daily provisions. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Father, for loving us, Father, when we can't love ourselves. When we can't love ourselves, you love us too, Father. Thank you, Father, for you being our Heavenly Father. We love you. And it's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Yes, amen. Chapter 8, the book of Hosea. Israel rejects the Lord. The Lord said, sound the warning. Israel, you broke our agreement and ignored my teaching. Now an eagle is swooping down to attack my land. Israel, you say we claim you, the Lord, as our God. But your enemies will chase you for rejecting our good agreement. You chose kings and leaders without consulting me. You made silver and gold idols that led to your downfall. City of Samaria, I'm angry because of your idol in the shape of a calf. When will you ever be innocent again? Someone from Israel built that idol for you, but only I am God, and so it will be smashed to pieces. If you scatter wind instead of wheat, you will harvest a whirlwind and have no wheat. Even if you harvest grain, enemies will still eat, will steal it all. Israel, you are ruined, and now the nations consider you worthless. You are like a wild donkey that goes its own way. You've run off to Assyria and hired them as allies. You can bargain with nations, but I'll catch you anyway. Soon you will suffer abuse by kings and rulers. Israel, you have built many altars where you offer sacrifices for sin. But these altars have become places for sin. My instructions for sacrifices were written in detail, but you ignored them. You'll sacrifice your best animals and eat the sacrificial meals, but I, the Lord, refuse your offerings. I will remember your sins and punish you. Then you will return to Egypt. Israel, I created you, but you forgot me. You and Judah built palaces and many strong cities. Now I will send fire to destroy your towns and fortresses. Well, God's willing, tomorrow... We come back, we're still in the book of Hosea, will be chapter 9, Israel will be punished. You all tell your loved ones that you love them, we're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one or some, he died for us all. So what are you waiting for? Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's not something up for debate or discussion. It's something we all must do. So please do it. Please do it. And if you have unforgiveness in your heart, let it go. Please let it go. Let it go. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Father God loves you more. You will have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, youngest, oldest alike. God bless you. Bye-bye.